Have you heard the phrase, jack of all trades, master of none? That is so true. That is so true. And let me give you guys a prime example. Uh, for me, I've been training, uh, you know, athletes, you know, uh, stay at home moms, uh, working professionals, uh, pro athletes, yada, yada. If you guys have been listening, you heard it. On my self discovery over the years, I found myself going after different opportunities where it was exciting. It was new, um, you know, things that are outside of my expertise. And I just have that attitude, that growth mindset. I'll figure it out. Let's get it. So my friend a few weeks ago, not too long ago, uh, admitted when we were uh, reengaged uh, because she was my, uh, my online client that we, you know, we did a transformation years ago. And so when we had reconnected on LinkedIn and we were just catching up and she said she had to admit and I won't call her out, but maybe she'll come on an episode uh, uh, and then she'll confess it so you guys can hear it from her. Well, when she found out that, hey, I'm no longer training, she confessed to me and told me that she was in disbelief. Right. Because that's what she know me as. And, you know, obviously it was good because I was in, uh, instrumental on her fitness journey and, and we accomplished some things together and it was great. And it still is. Well, when she found out that I, I had, I was, you know, in that season had transitioned from training people. She was like, what? I, she, she couldn't believe it. You know, she described it as, you know, and this is her words, uh, Michael Jordan not playing basketball, you know, Michael Jackson not dancing and singing. So um, shout out to her for those that those affirmations and compliments. Um, and I'll give you another one, uh, another one of my, uh, you know, maybe it's bias, but when people know you for uh, something, they're shocked. I had another client. He essentially said the same thing and was in disbelief, too. So I'm sharing that with you because over my journey, I was going after things that I wasn't necessarily passionate about and had a real uh, experience or expertise with it. Now, I had attributes or traits that could fit into that to that realm or that space or that industry. However, the past 15 years of my life, before I got into, you know, the remote professional world, what have you, I was a trainer. I was a motivator. I was a coach. So uh, if you're known for something, something good, something great, lean into that. Find a way to, to amplify what you're an expert at, Right? Find a way how to serve people where they're at, where you need them to be for you to maximize your potential. Find a way. Find a way. So that's my free game today. I hope you guys let me know if you guys had that experience. If you, you try to master different things. Let me know. I want to hear back from you guys. If you're struggling with that, man, I got a revelation for you. There's hope. So what do people tell you? Uh, use that feedback analysis to make a decision. Use, you, use that, get that, and, and, and have a, a thick, thick skin. If you found yourself going down a, your journey and you think, oh, this is a thing, well, take a survey. The people that you trust, the people that you confide in, the people that you respect, uh, even an expert in that field, even a coach. Uh, you know, a business coach or, or a professional coach, ask someone, several people, and then see what the consensus says. And then do your own research, do your own due diligence to find your answer, right? Stay locked into something, right? I think this is the biggest takeaway, right? Find your passion, find your purpose, 
but stay committed, stay locked into something um, and just figure it out. There's, there's uh, success leaves clues, right? And as long as you're just locked in on that thing, the clues will become clear. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one.